AD 79, the year Vesuvius buried Pompeii and Herculaneum. When the cities were finally excavated in the 18th century, they were found to be startlingly preserved. And today, they continue to fascinate tourists and artists like Catherine Huber. It's very much about wall paintings and how paint can bring walls to life. So what have the Romans ever done for us? Well, Monty Python can add design ahead of its time to the exhaustive list. I had the chance to spend the time in Herculaneum and Pompeii and I was totally struck by how fresh these Roman 2000 and older decorations were. But then finally really wanting to investigate specific Roman wall paintings in specific houses and creating work very much in dialogue with these amazing Roman wall paintings. The expanded interiors exhibition was first displayed in the ruins of two homes in southern Italy. Three years later and the installations have been relocated and restaged at Hatton Gallery in a succession of rooms, each designed to make the visitor feel physically different. And this is a room within a room. Now this space is inspired by a Roman bathroom complex in Pompeii and it's very intense. It feels like it's sort of bearing down on you and it's a little bit disorientating. Not very calming for a bathroom. This environment is more welcoming. It's a new commission by a local artist. There are an amazing variety of colours in Italy um, that we saw. Um, I was really interested in the, the drama and the contrast of spaces. It's inspired by time spent in the houses in Pompeii and Herculaneum and the really richly decorated Roman wall painting and also experience of just being cooped up in a, in a house throughout the last year. With a baby. With a baby, <laughs> yeah, with a baby. <laughs> Contemporary Northeast life meets ancient Roman heritage. It's a new perspective and it runs until the 10th of August. Shurana Saga, BBC Look North, Newcastle.